Dear friends, the next thing that we have to learn about the concatenation operators. There are two operators which we can use. One is the ampersand and the next one is the plus sign. So what is the difference between these two we are going to learn and then finally as a note we will take this important information. Right now let's go to our code. Now our code has got a button. When I click on the button I should be able to see some output. Let's write two variables dim a as string equals to I'm going to provide some value John and next write next variable dim b as string and let me write to so now let's understand if i use a ampersand symbol what happens if i use a plus symbol what happens let's create the next variable called result as string equals to i'm going to a and then use the ampersand symbol and then say b okay so what happens first of all let's understand this let's print the output in a message box saying message box dot show and i'm going to print the output result let's first of all save this and run it so what i have used a ampersand symbol for concatenation so what is the output that we expect john and door to be concatenated that means both of them should appear as a single word so if i click on show results you can see here how it has appeared john doe if you would like to give a space all this thing you can do but the main important part is it concatenates two strings let's change the condition here what i'm going to do instead of this value john doe let us write some number here one two three and i'm going to write four five six okay before that let me get it back. If I use a plus symbol, what happens? Let's see that. I am using a plus symbol with the previous values. And if I run it, you can see the output is coming. Even the plus symbol is capable of concatenating strings. But what is the main difference I am going to show you? Next, what I am going to do, I am going to change this value to 1, 2, 3. And I am going to change this value to four five six now what would happen if I'm, I'm using a plus symbol here if i run this show results so what happened one two three four five six both are strings so it is giving it is still working as a concatenation right it is adding okay what if i'm going to use an ampersand symbol instead of a plus symbol ampersand symbol is on seventh numeric number seven if I run this, you can see both are working. So that means when it comes to string concatenation, whether you are using a ampersand symbol or you are using a plus symbol doesn't matter if both the values are string. So I'm trying to concatenate both the strings. So plus also works, ampersand also works. Now what is the difference where you should not use a plus symbol or ampersand symbol? Let's understand. For example, the B value or let's say the A value, I'm going to make it as integer and I'm going to remove the double quotes. So what happened here? The one of the value is integer, the other value is string. In this case, if I'm using an ampersand symbol, what happens? We should understand. If I run this, because the first value is an integer and second value is a string ampersand symbol will always concatenate by converting the integer to string if you see the one two three is an integer still it has converted it itself by nature to a string and concatenates do you see one two three four five six is the output so whenever you like to see this kind of an output you must use a ampersand symbol when you are dealing with two different data types so here string is a data type integer is another data type 
So if you want to see this kind of output, you must use ampersand. Now what happens if I use a plus symbol? Let me show you. For example, I'm using a plus symbol. So it just does the opposite. So this 456 is a string. It will convert it to integer and then add both of them. Let me run it. So what is happening here? 579. How the 579 appeared? If you add this 6 plus 3, 9, 7 and 4 plus 1, 579. So 579 output is coming when you are using a plus symbol. So you need to be very careful when you are going for a plus symbol. If there are two different data types, integer and string, then you understand it is going to give you the addition. It will work like an addition operator. Now what is the difference? Let's see by opening the notepad. Ampersand, specifically for string concatenation, automatically converts the numbers to strings and is the safest option when working with both string and numeric values. When you are working with integer and string or both string or right or both integers doesn't matter what happens it always do a concatenation. Let's do one thing. Let's make it integer as well. Okay, and now I'm going to use an ampersand symbol. So what would be the output? 579 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Let me run it. You can see the still the output is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Getting it, it doesn't add it, even though both are integer. So when it comes to concatenation, ampersand is the safest option. Automatically converts the number to strings and is the safest option to working with both strings and numeric values. It always concatenates. But the plus symbol has two different behavior. One is it can concatenate. The other one is it can add addition because it's a mathematical operator. Can be used for both string concatenation and numeric addition, but can lead to ambiguity. Sometimes it might give you wrong results. If you are mixing numbers and strings, we just saw that. Whenever you are mixing number and string and try to concatenate what it did it actually added both the numbers and showed you 579 so that is the difference this is the important note you can take and experiment yourself and let me know in the comments if this worked for you and if you have understood the concept clearly or not thank you for watching let's meet in our next content